Ain't never been perfect and they pretended to be I got this trauma in my face, the demons fucking with me See, I be praying for forgiveness cause the devil won't flee He won Hey babes, I'm back and I'm back with Freaking Basically like my first real Actually it wouldn't even be cause I'm doing the day shift today Um but first real shift because I did Thursday last week or the week before that two weeks ago I think um, just because I had to come in for our COVID meeting and I wasn't going to drive all the way up here and not work you know just for a meeting and then go home that just didn't seem worth it so I stayed and it wasn't that, ma uh, that bad but I wanted to vlog and I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog tonight either it's just like the whole mask issue it's like hard to have a moment where I can just pull my mask down and like talk um but I think I'm gonna do like a whole Celtic My Buddy synopsis at the end. <coughs> um, I did grab a couple masks like once I finish smoking my cigarette. I'm gonna smoke a blunt and then go in. I'm like a little early. Um, cause I like left out earlier than I wanted to because I wanted to grab the mask and then I still came early. Um, but yeah, that's my update on that. That was like, it wasn't actually that bad of a drive, but it was like, add 40 minutes to already my two and a half hour drive because I wanted to stop and get the mask and I literally was at the hair store where I saw the mask yesterday <coughs> and fuck it and was like oh I saw them like as I was like checking out and I was like I'll just grab them tomorrow not realizing how early I already had to leave out should have just grabbed them then could have been chill out over a little longer but I literally already expected today to be like a it's a day shift. I didn't expect it to be too busy, so I know I can like mess around on my phone. Speaking of that, I gotta make sure my phone is charged. Okay, I did charge it this whole ride up here, but I'm like, it's gonna be a day of playing on my phone because. But that Thursday, I came in. One of the girls mentioned that like day shift there's not a lot of girls, and like if I would have started when I came in, the meeting was for seven, but it didn't start until like eight thirty. It was so annoying, but after the meeting and then all the girls that came to the meeting basically started working which was like 25 of us um there was a lot of girls on so i did want to get in early um so i could sorry my watch just started answering a message for me i'm like i didn't say type shit um freaking to try to beat when all the girls get here because i don't feel like I'm not in that mindset to compete right now. I just want to get my money and go. Um, tomorrow night, I am coming in later because I do have two customers coming in, which I was hoping I could get one to come in today and then not have to have two customers in at the same time. But that's a thing. So tomorrow night might be a little busier, but I really wanted to see how day shift was going to be here. I literally, I feel like I tried once, like the summer I was like fully here. Um, and gave up like I literally came and left like paid and everything and left I was like no I'm not staying <laughs> so it won't be that type of day today because I have hope power of the universe it's been so real um let me let me plant no, there's like nowhere I could have you situated hey <laughs> honey you can look at my double chin Sorry for that brief intermission. <laughs> oh yeah, the mask. So I still really gotta find a place to put you guys. Right. So the first one was this black one. Which I think I'm gonna wear tonight because I only have like my black and yellow outfit on me. This one I have to get like another white mask or like some sort of color actual mask because this doesn't protect you from anything you know but i just thought it was cute um and then this one i do have actually a white outfit that i could wear this one with but i really like this one and had to get it bing bing but i think most likely it's going to be the blue one unless things get popping and i have to pull out the white outfit on a bitch with that mask 
Because the white outfit's not that exciting, but with that mask, it may be doing work. So, those are the three masks I got. <coughs> um, that's my tidbit. Have fun with the mask. Like, they suck, but like, at least have fun with them. Like, make it work for you. And that is like my downside because my smile be catching niggas and people like I've gotten it so many times like oh you're intimidating until you smile so it's like oh well I can't show you my smile because it's covered by a fucking mask so I'm just intimidating I'm walking around fucking intimidating you gotta be like can you see the smile through the mask can you see the cheekbones are raised <laughs> like, I'm not so intimidating I'm nice Um, but yeah, there's really not much updates. Peaceful vibes. <coughs> still going strong. That's where my focus has been. Um, my plant's still blooming and popping off. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. I was thinking about carrying them through the winter, but I just don't think. I think it's just gonna be more of a hassle than I'm ready to take on right now. Um,. But I will know come spring that those will be there and ready to go because they were a huge changer for my Etsy shop. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just enjoying this blunt before I have to go in. And I don't want to. I was like, no hope. I hate sitting in the parking lot and I always do this to myself. That's why I always say just get here and go in because you sit in this parking lot and it's like, hmm. But, what else? Oh, I did um, Halloween candles, which is also doing really good, and Christmas candles. So I was like, like the focus has been like shifting back toward my candles slowly. Which is exciting because like the fact that I don't want to do them all winter, it's nice that people are feeling what I'm putting out. <laughs> so, that's that. We're going to go inside and start my day. Well, start my day. It's not even 12 o'clock yet, you guys. <coughs> um, I'll try to update you because there are less girls so there'll be like more space out back because we're really not supposed to be like hanging out in the back room letting it like, well, crowd it like be crowded in the back room um so we'll see what footage i can get other than that i'll just count my money with you guys at the end of the night and see how it goes all right so sorry for like the weird lighting i don't know if it's just like how i'm seeing myself but that's how we put it that's how it's gonna sit there so i'm gonna roll up yeah i gotta roll up my ride and grab gas and then head home it is five o'clock so I went in a little after 12, like 12.15. 12 um, yeah, pretty much like 12.15 because I talked to my mom as she was like getting on her 12 o'clock break, which is at 12.15. Um, so five hours, I did a half hour, a 15, and I went on stage once. And I feel like I tipped out $10. Um, normally you tip out the DJ and the bouncer, but the bouncer is the DJ, so he just got ten dollars. Cause he's a nice guy, but there's like bouncers here that like will carry bags and like go above and beyond. And no offense, they 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 get more money out of me. But he's a nice guy, so I give him ten dollars. You know, <laughs> I don't think that's a bad tip out because he just literally my car is parked right in front of the door. I didn't have to walk me far. Didn't offer to carry my bags. There's some guys that literally offer to open my, like, they're so sweet. And I'm like, oh my god, like, take my money. Like, you're so sweet. <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah, I tipped out $10. It was $20, like, house fee to work. So $30 spent and minus whatever I made. Um, I feel like, no, but I, after that last one... I came out and smoked a cigarette and went back in and I was like literally I'm gonna smoke my cigarette and try to push for one more stage set because I know like literally my goal was like $300 today I wasn't expecting much because I really wanted to be out of here by seven um but I think I made a little over that I don't think too much but 
I feel like I could be make it a little bit more if I stayed, but I know I'm gonna have to power through this little dead part and I don't wanna do that today. I feel like tomorrow I might come in at this time and then bump out the rest of the night, like come in at like five, six o'clock. We'll see how I feel tomorrow because I already know I really need to start stretching before I come in because Ooh, my leg hurts this split drop down. Ooh. Let me roll up. And then I'll count my money. Um, and like easy money on day shift. Like the first customer. Like, I don't know. I'm not like, I hate, I well, I don't hate it, but like, I just take it as a perspective of like, if I came in as a customer, like, give me a second. Let me woosa. Let me look around. Let me feel out. Let me, you know, get comfy. And like, there's a couple girls here that were like, as soon as the guy walked in, they were just like on them. And I'm just like, give them a second. Give them a second. Like, so basically, like, and before I, because I give everybody like, let them have a couple sips of their drinks before I even go and bother them when they come in. <coughs> um, and before I even, like, the first customer that I was, like, letting, like, settle in, before he even settled in, like, the club was, like, already filled with, like, a good ten people. Um, and then the first guy I sat down with, we sat down for, like, two seconds. Before he even offered to get me a drink, he was ready to go for the half hour. So that was an easy half hour, and... He was like on like a business break so his boss ended up calling him back to work so we ended up getting out of the half hour early like a good like 10 minutes early which was nice so I was freaking dying sweating wasn't ready <laughs> um i almost went to fart you guys but i forgot i'm in the middle of filming so i'm gonna hold that i'm gonna hold that part for later i'm sorry <laughs> i hate myself <laughs> i'm so serious but i feel like that's a huge reason why i wanted to leave because you know, I shouldn't have bird, uh, had Burger King before I went in. But he left 10 minutes early, like off the room 10 minutes early, and then still tipped me $25 on top of that. So he wasn't bad. The second guy was actually fun. We were like sitting, shooting the shit, like stupid shit the whole time we were talking. And then he was like, honestly, I don't do rooms. I've never done like a VIP, and that's all like we have. We don't have like regular private dances. Um, but he was like, your personality makes me want to do it. Um, so he just did the 15. Which was nice. And I'm like such an idiot. Like, the fact that we make our own prices screw me over being a pothead. Because I'd be forgetting what my prices are. And I'd be having to come up on them on the spot. And it's so hard because, they're like, you have to make it mathematically to, like, push them for a higher room. And sometimes I can't be doing that math so quickly. It's just not how my brain works. So I'd be like, I literally, it's supposed to be 150, then 300, and then, no, 150, 350, no, 125, 350, and then 600 for the hour during the day shift. It shifts a little bit at night shift. Um, but the 350. 125 350 they're like it's reasonable because it's just like you're basically paying but that six hundred dollar hour gives them you know a hundred dollars off so it makes it like makes them want to do that hour but literally the guy with the 15 like my mind was like so confuzzled and then because the pts charges for their rooms separately all the numbers that was being thrown out I was just like oh 100 so that threw me off a little bit threw my math off a little bit wasn't ready for that one and I need to like get that down packed because you you I feel like you could literally see my thought process when I'm like telling people I'm like yeah now it's 150 125 three <laughs> like literally <laughs> I be forgetting and then it just comes out weird I'm trying to think do I want two blunts or one blunt
On a side note, I keep, I feel like I haven't mentioned it. Or if I did, I mentioned I was getting it. I don't think I mentioned I actually got it. But I finally got a poll. So I'm going to start doing like poll videos with you guys. Because the poll I had was Bay's poll. My ex's poll. Um, but I finally got one. I've just been procrastinating. Because the room I want to do it in is basically the room that I do my candles. And everything like peaceful vibes in. So... I just been lazy on the whole wanting to have to change my room around for that. Here's a customer. I really should have tried it before I left because when I was smoking my cigarette, he seemed very interested in me. But I was so tired. Not even I just don't want to interact anymore. I came outside and thought, look at this beautiful day. My motivation was gone. <laughs> it's like I could be getting high cruising, cruising right now. And he hasn't really favored anyone, so Ugh, I could have been his cup of tea. Got one more room before I left. Fuck it. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. This blunt was meant to be, though. Yes, I, there's like one of you guys that literally on all my videos, no matter what video it is, just ask if the club's back open. Yes, PT is, is back open to answer your question. Um, so for like differences and like club wise for anyone that wants to know or like looking to work during quarantine, freaking... Like, depending on where you go, honestly, I always say this, every club is different. Especially when it comes to quarantine rules. Um, because the last time I worked, there was a bunch of girls like, Oh my god, there's this club in New Hampshire that's letting 100% capacity. And, like, you cannot, you don't have to wear your mask and stuff. And I'm just like, that club sounds like it's going to be shut down and, like, lost, like, lose their license. So, like, you have to think of, is the risk worth the reward because let me tell you the story for those chicks that's thinking COVID ain't real and on some stupid shit like yeah the club is already risky enough like you are already risking your life in the middle of a pandemic dancing there's no way around it but like at least there's ways of being smart like choosing you know a club that's like following the legal the legal issues like the legal I don't know requirements um, but my best friend Caitlin next door, I don't know if I've like put her in a vlog or not. Um, her little sister went to college this year, first year of college. Oh, I'm getting so old. But freaking her initial roommate had to like drop her first year of school. So Holly had to get a new roommate. Cause this little girl, 19, like 18, 19, about to start her life got COVID and lost her eyesight like COVID is so real like that was like whoo that hurt me because I'm like no offense that's supposed to be like your starting moment it's supposed to be like a big thing and like you I don't that's life changing that was life changing for that little girl you know made me think twice about not wearing a mask you know I like to see I like my sight. Really, really like my sight. Um, so yeah, it's not worth the risk. Because like, I don't care if you walk out with like 10 grand. Bitch, that 10 grand is going to be covering your cataract surgery, you know? <laughs> it ain't worth it. But like, so PTs, 
we only can have our we can only have a lot of a lot of amount of 50 customers they don't count like employees for like a lot of amount of people so that works out because you know there's a lot of girls that work at pts at night like no offense girls alone like we would hit 50 so <laughs> that's cool but we're only allowed 50 customers at night and that's why nights like i'd rather that's why i tried out day shifts because if you think about it with only 50 customers allowed like some nights i put this on my life there's definitely definitely 50 girls like during summertime i don't know how winters are i only worked a few winters last year well winter nights last year but there's still a lot of girls on like pushing over 20. um so with even if we get 25 girls that's literally two like two customers a girl really so i would like i don't know day shift was a lot easier than last thursday just for the fact that there was so much less competition um and guys are still willing to spend money like i don't know how i would handle a day shift at club alex's because no offense day shift was cheap so i'm not saying this could be like your situation for every single club because i definitely would not want to pick up a day shift at club, Ax at club alex's ever again like i hated their day shifts even like so we were dead from like 12 to 1 30 and then after that like there's been customers in since then and like consistent like money spent it wasn't like anybody was just sitting there drinking and not spending money and that was day shift on alex's so i wouldn't i don't know you kind of have to like feel out the club and know whether or not to switch to day shift during this time but if you're trying out pts definitely don't hesitate to just like try out a day shift because there was like four of us on like, <laughs> there was like four of us i think when i came out of that 15 i came up to like 10 girls now and then no offense this is like everybody started to leave and there's like five customers to like the 10 girls so that's why i was like i'll just go home um, but masks must be worn on the stage on the floor so it's pt show club's restaurant so technically they changed into a restaurant to like legally open um and if you're sitting with a customer and he like buys you a drink or you have a drink in front of you or he, like both of you guys have like drink or food in front of you you guys can have your mask off um that's like the rule with like the mask like if you're sitting with someone and you have like food or like a beverage in front of you you can take your mask off they're really cool about like cleaning between all the stage sets which is another reason why like i don't know like night shift with everybody like day shift is like a little chiller where it's like there's not much going on so it's easier to just like shoot the shit night shift it's like there's so many girls on and you really just have to have like quick conversations like you want to dance or no like before like i don't know everybody gets taken and freaking there's not I don't know i just i don't know i really like day shift here it was just so much easier to hustle <laughs> honestly like at night i would always like go around and ask for my dances after my stage set and i went on stage once so like i feel like either that pushed me out of my comfort zone or waiting till my stage set and just going for it since I was waiting so long or like the fact that it was just more comfortable and I'm trying not to be mean but no offense okay there were some beautiful girls but all, honestly like I don't I can't compete with a white blonde chick like we're not on the same playing field there's nothing I have that equates to her there's nothing she has that I equate to you know but black girls it was me and a very older lady i'm just gonna leave it at that so i had no competition today black wise <laughs> like and it was so funny so i watched i watched nina 420's video on the whole nina unrated and trisha paytas situation and i watched her reaction to their only fans which was really funny um 
and it was like on in the background so it brought me to like i don't even know what video of nina 420s but it was so funny because apparently she's danced at pts before and she said the same fucking thing and the fact that she said it made me feel less like an asshole because i was feeling like an asshole the way i was saying this to people and like you guys have seen me i i be rough be rough be rough like i wouldn't say i am i ain't no nina 420 how about that <laughs> like i ain't no six figure stripper but standing next to some of these girls bitch looks like one <laughs> like I don't know what it is with PTs but competition level you ain't got much you ain't got much especially if you ebony if you ebony and you I, I don't even know how to say what I'll be mean. <laughs> but PTs is for you if you're Ebony, honestly. <laughs> it's like literally like Zachary's, but like more money. Like Zachary's was good on like their hit days, but on their bad days, they were definitely bad. But PTs is always good. Like I've never had issues. Like my slow nights are like good nights at Alex's. And it's literally just for the- What did I get all over this dress already? Um. Because there's no other option to choose from. Even the guy that I got the 15 minutes off. I even said it. I was like, no offense. Look around. If you want chocolate, I'm all you have to choose from. But freaking. I fuck with it. It was an easy club. Sorry for my rambles for all those like I don't understand what the obsession is like if you look on YouTube Counting money videos for strippers is like one of the highest videos. I'm like I Don't know why you guys get off watching other people count their money. It's not yours like I Can understand if the bitch was like I'm gonna cut you some at the end of this counting, but you guys get way too excited for this um, 100 for the 15 2 4 6 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 50, 60, 70, 2, 4, 6, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, ah, so 70 plus 32, 102 so 402 bang bang and literally all big bills because I did one stage set which was like all of these I love PTs also because they do two dollar bills Zach that was another thing I missed two dollar bills if you go into a club and they give you two dollar bills bitch this is all you have to spend this gets tucked away tuck it away because for one anybody that sees you give them this many twos if they know the the no they know you're a stripper and just tuck them away they're two save them they're cute <laughs> i always save my twos and i'd be heated nights that like half my money is in twos because i'm like bitch what am i supposed to do like i can't spend half my money now like but i love my twos i try so hard not to spend them because not for like, I don't think, I'm not that type of person that thinks twos are valuable because I'm a stripper and know that you can go to any strip club that has twos and get a bunch of them. But it's just more like, they're easy savings because I don't like pulling them out. They're either, someone's going to be like, oh my god, is this real? Or it's going to be like, oh my god, I know you get naked for money. <laughs> like, those are the two reactions I get when I pull out my twos and I'm like, I'll save you, you know, for a rainy day. And that's about it. But I'm gonna head home. It's 5:23. I think I'm gonna get home at like seven something. And it's a vlog there. 
Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about dancing during quarantine. It's basically dancing during any other time. Except for what a face mask on. <laughs> uh, most places you'll run into don't have private dances. Um, I don't know. Honestly, it could just be like a club. Like, let me know if you are dancing and like what the club situation like is down below. And because right now, so we don't have private dances, masks all the time. Unless you have like a food or beverage in front of you. Uh, we still have our VIP rooms. And we got tested right at the door. Not tested, but like temperature tested. So they be legit at PTs. Let me know in the comments below what your club is doing to keep you guys safe. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if like... I don't know I'm gonna try to figure out vlogs honestly because it's just like it doesn't seem fun to me to get clips of me just like mm, here's my mask here's me and my mask in this place because that's all it'll be because it's so fucking hard to talk with the mask and then on top of that over the music so um let me know if you guys are just down for like counting my money videos or if you guys want me to try to do the vlogs try to get as much as I can let me know what you guys want out of this since the club is back open. In the comments below. So we can figure out where to go from next. I don't know if I'm going to do this video or the poll video first. Whenever it comes out first. I think this video will come out first. Yeah, it should. Um, but then that will be next. So look forward to that. I'm just procrastinating. I don't want to drive you guys. But I will see you guys in the next one. Drowning in a purple ocean cause we in the same boat. She like to put on my music and dance to it. Like a stripper, she dance to it. The strippers all put on my